MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news via video media. David, I recently visited one of your new customers who gave Taunus a very glowing reference as to why he bought uh, his first sliding head machine from you guys. A lot of it came down to power, speed and performance, but this is a new model, the GT13. Can you give me a little bit of an overview of what this machine is and the specification? Yeah, sure. I mean, with the GT13, we have a similar capability as its bigger sister, the GT26. So we have good spindle power, five kilowatts on both main and sub spindle. And we have the ability to run with or without guidebush. We have a lot of versatility in the tooling as well, so a lot of driven tool capability as well as standard turning tools. That brings me on to the tooling because this type of machine is about is very application driven. So it's about small term parts, complex parts. By having more tools, does that mean you can get components off the machine quicker? Yeah, it gives you the flexibility, especially with the spindle powers, we have more flexibility on how we lay the part out. So how many tools has this machine got? on the platens and when it comes to driven tools and things like that? Okay, with standard we have 30 tool positions on this machine, 12 of those can be driven. And are they, are they modular, so could you move uh, one of the tools from a, a platen at the back of the machine to the front, to the side, to the left, to the right? Yep, on the GT versions we have um, positions that are standard on the machine. Um, we have, then we have modular systems that can be moved between the main operations and counter operations. And also with those tools they can be moved between different machine variants. So as an example a tool on a GT13 could be put onto a GT26 or a DT13 and so on. Speed of production is key with this type of machine as well. So that comes down to a couple of things on the tool. That comes down to the speed of the tool, but also maybe the positioning of the tool holders. Are they very close to each other from a proximity perspective? Yeah, I mean, that's one of the things that makes the, the, uh, the process is quicker on the, the GT, as an example. We have opposing tools, so we have, although we have a single platen, we have opposing tool positions, which means chip to chip time is very quick. And how fast will they run, David? Spindle, spindle speeds, um, we have 15,000 RPM on the main and the sub spindle, um, up to 10,000 on the driven tools in the main and six in the sub. That's a, that's a big leap, that, that's fast. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's uh, because of the kind of parts we're trying to manufacture on the machine, we need those flexibilities. GT13, does that mean you've got a 13mm bar diameter capacity? Yeah, the machine is um, up to 13mm or half inch, 10mm um, without bar prep. What about the differences between the main spindle at the front and the spindle at the back? Is there any? Um, no, they're identical. Same collet size, uh, same spindle power, same spindle speed. So. Tell me about the power. That's a big factor on these machines as well. How powerful are the spindles? Yeah, again, it's on all of the new products that we've launched uh, recently. We've put um, a lot of emphasis on the capabilities of the main and the sub spindle. So on something like this, we have a five kilowatt um, spindle motor on the main and the sub spindle. Um, and and so that's, that's, that's powerful. Yeah. When it comes to this machine and its positioning in the marketplace, there's, there's lots of sliding head technology. Uh, that will do small bar diameters. Has this, is this sophisticated? Does it come equipped with you know, additional features that maybe other entry level machines don't at a similar price? Very competitive, competitively. We have um, standard high pressure 20 bar on the machine with uh, four programmable outlets. Um, we have, uh, as I said, the flexibility on the driven tool capability parts we can run it with or without guide bush so we can do shorter parts um, from exotic materials as an example. We'll come back to that in a minute but I, I wanted to also about the, the y-axis on the back spindle as well. You've, you've got y-axis on one of the platens so you can that gives you more capability as well doesn't it? Yeah it does that's right. On the, uh, the GT versions we have uh, y-axis in the, the counter operation so it gives us more tooling capability. So who's going to buy this type of machine? What sort of, we talk about it is down to the application, but what sort of application are we looking at where this is going to fit as the perfect solution? It's those, those medium to complex parts, I guess. Um, it's going to suit subcontractors and OEMs alike, really. So we're talking small diameters with lots of complex features? Yeah, the, the, the driven tool capability, etc., gives us a lot of possibilities on the machine, yeah. So with you being able to offer the guide bush and non-guide bush, what why is that attractive to a, a buyer? 
it gives flexibility. Historically, we've had bushed machines or bushless machines. Um, on here, it enables us to do shorter parts to, to achieve more components out of the bar, um, yet be able to change it to run as a bushed machine um, and run those longer, slender parts that would normally be associated with sliders. Yeah, so if you have non-guide bush, you get a lot less remnant as well, which I suppose saves money if the material's difficult. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Now, the control's a big factor when you're looking to program these type of machines. You wouldn't do this at the control. How, how do you do it with Tornos? Well, you can do. We, we have a standard uh, FANUC 31i control, so uh, standard ISO programming. Um, but we also offer our TISIS programming and monitoring system, which is an offline system. So there's a lot of 10 mil machines in the market and a lot of 20 mil machines, but this kind of sits in the middle. What, what's the benefits to this model? Um, really, it's flexibility. We can run on here material 1 mil to 13 millimeters. Um, we have the modular tooling. We have a lot of tooling positions as well. Um, and running short parts and long parts are equally uh, capable on this machine. So it's going to be a, a, a good seller for you guys. I know you've sold these machines already, haven't you? We have, that's right, yes, exactly. And I'm sure there'll be many more. Thanks, David. Thanks very much. Thanks, Paul.